Number one most important thing to keep in consideration when you're shopping for an RV is What is going on everybody? Today I'm hanging out at Premium Coach Group and there are so many RVs to choose from here that I wanted to make a video trying to help you guys narrow down what's the best RV for you. So I came up with seven different questions that you should ask yourself before purchasing an RV. I wanna give a huge thanks to the RV Glass Guru for sponsoring today's video. The RV Glass Guru specializes in large one-piece windshield replacements. They have a team of installers throughout the state of Arizona and a nationwide network. RV Glass Guru offers additional discounts for veterans and first responders. Greatly appreciate RV Glass Guru. Walking around this showroom, there's all kinds of Prevos. Here's a nice Winnebago. My buddy James AZ Experts doing an inspection on it right now. Hey everybody, what's up? Over here is an absolutely stunning Newell coach. So many different things to choose from. So they're doing some work in the shop. So I'm gonna go inside this Newell coach real quick and tell you the seven questions that you should ask yourself before you choose what RV is best for you. This is an absolutely stunning 2009 Newell coach. I'm gonna make an entire video all about this coach. Out of all the coaches here, this is the one I thought I'd sit down in a minute and have a little chat with you guys. So. I actually put some thought into this video. I don't always write stuff down. So usually when I write stuff down, that means I'm about to give you guys some good information. Now I have been doing a lot of consulting for folks, helping them choose the best RV. You can schedule a consulting call on my website, rvingwithandrewsteel.com. There's a consult button in the top right corner. Would love to jump on a phone call with you and kind of help guide you through the whole process. So going to these questions here are what you should ask yourself. And I'm actually gonna close this air door here just so you guys can hear really well. Gotta love those Newell air doors. Such a nice coach. Big thanks to the folks at Premium Coach Group as well for just letting me come down here and hang out and film some coaches. I could have just filmed this in my living room, but thought it'd be a little cooler to come hang out here and have some coaches to show you what I'm talking about as well here. So after I run you through this list, we can walk around the showroom here and I'll kind of point out some of the differences in some of the coaches. So the first question I always like to ask people is how many miles a year are you planning on traveling in this RV? And what are you planning on using it for? I recently talked to a gentleman that wanted to put a Prevo uh, on a property. He had a remote property where he was gonna be building over the next couple years. I advised him against getting a Prevo and into getting actually either a fifth wheel or a travel trailer, a Highline unit for his exact situation, a Highline fifth wheel, would suit his needs best. Motorized RVs require a lot more maintenance than just a trailer. A trailer, you're just gonna have all the house systems. So if you can eliminate an engine, transmission, a lot of stuff that you're not gonna have to spend in maintenance costs, and then you're gonna be able to get a lot more bang for your buck. So if someone's not gonna travel a lot of miles per year, I recommend a trailer. If it's just gonna kind of sit somewhere for the majority of the time, and you're gonna use it for months at a time, you're gonna have more living space. You know, when you have a motorized vehicle, uh, like that area up there does take up some space. Now, some of them do have spinning chairs that utilize that space, but when you do go to a towable, usually you have more bang for the buck as far as living space. Another question to ask yourself is, how long are you gonna use the coach for? Are you gonna use it for a couple nights at a time? Are you gonna use it for months at a time? If you're gonna only use it to um, stay in a place for one or two nights. Well, you gotta realize like a nice big Newell coach like this with the four slide outs, it's gonna take 15 minutes or so just to put all the slide outs out. If you're gonna just be going down the road constantly, 
something like a non-slide Prevo or maybe even a Class C Sprinter van may be a better fit for you than this Newell coach. No RV is gonna be perfect for everybody. Everybody's gonna have different needs, so there's just different RVs that fit all the different needs. Another big thing to take into consideration is how many people and how many pets are you using? Like for me, it's just me and my dog. And my 42 foot Tiff and Phaeton, that was way too big. When I originally bought that coach, I had a lot of my buddies kind of coming up, crashing out on my couch. I was flat towing a Sprinter detail van behind my diesel pusher, so I needed something heavy duty that could tow 10,000 pounds, and I needed a bunch of room for my buddies to crash out. Now that I'm not running my detailing business anymore, my needs have changed, so it's not really the right coach for me anymore. Also too, like for a Class A motorhome, I don't really need four slides. I'd be fine with either a double slide coach or even a non-slide coach. Now I love being in a huge, you know, four slide Newell coach like this. I'm, I'm not opposed to the slides at all, but I don't necessarily need those slides as much as maybe like a family or someone that's traveling with three or four people. When you get to where you're going, it's just nice to have that extra elbow room. Another number one most important thing to keep in, in consideration when you're shopping for an RV is what is your budget? Not only is what is the budget of what you're shopping for, but what's the maintenance cost gonna be on that? When you get into older stuff, the maintenance costs are gonna go up. Uh, how well has the coach been maintained? Uh, the less stuff you have, the less stuff you're gonna have to repair. You wanna do your homework and kind of expect for the worst, hope for the best on your maintenance budget, but you can go in different owners groups and really learn a lot about different maintenance budgets of different types of coaches. Another really big thing to keep into consideration when choosing the right RV for you is where are you going to store the RV and where do you live? You want to make sure that you have people that can maintain, service the coach, repair the coach if needed. So if you live in say Oregon um, and you're thinking about getting a Liberty coach, well that may not work for you because the Marathon coach is in Oregon. Um, same thing like if you live in Chicago, probably much wiser for you to get a Liberty coach over a Marathon coach. If you live in Oklahoma, you already know what you gotta buy. If you live in Oklahoma there, nice Newell coach like this. So another thing you need to keep into consideration is what is important to you. So different coaches have totally different features, options, what's important to you and then the last question is what type of a floor plan do you need how are you going to be using the coach and what's the best floor plan for you are you going to be going down the road all the time are you going to be stopping it kind of goes back to that earlier some of those earlier questions uh, at how you're going to help determine what's the best floor plan for you because floor plan is very important and then another thing is is do you like the coach because really if you're going to spend this kind of money on a, a luxury item these are toys these are 100 percent luxury items rvs are not a necessity i know a lot of people are always looking for the best deal but it's very important that you buy something that you like because if you get a good deal on it and then you don't like it that's even worse. Very hard to get in and out of these coaches without it costing a lot of money. So let's go walk around the showroom real quick and I'm gonna show you a couple different coaches and then a couple different scenarios at you know who would be the right candidate for that coach. So let's go take a look here. So this coach, quad slide, a beautiful coach. This is for someone that really wants something nice. It's got the bath and a half. I definitely recommend that for resale value. Um, wine cooler over here. The beautiful Newell glassware there. Absolutely stunning coach. Got the little recesses for art there. You could probably have some custom art put in there. TV on a televator. So uh, this is for something that's looking for something real nice. This is a 2009. I like Newell. Uh, you know, like I said, the 24 seven customer service, regardless of year. I can tell this has been well kept. Um, when you look at a Newell coach and all the, you know, look at all the seams, everything's wrapped in leather, um, just how well, you know, that's, you know, you look at these kind of areas and you can tell how well a coach is held up. I gotta point out, you know, how much headroom I have. I can literally walk inside of a Newell coach slide. 
There's no other motorhome slide out that I know of that I can do that. You know, same thing over here, just really tall slides that just give it so much more headroom. And then in the middle of the coach, Newell coach is second to none when it comes to headroom in these class A motorhomes. I think this coach, if you're looking for something under a half million and you just want a really nice motorhome, this is a great option. Let me show you the outside here. Now here's a double slide uh, Prevo Country coach. Here's a King Air right here. Uh, so double slide, so some of the difference. This is a little more set up to kind of be going down the road. Manual door, absolutely stunning coach, but not nearly as big as that Newell coach. So maybe if you have less people, this might be a good coach for you. So this is a non-slide Prevo Country coach. Let's take a look inside. So this is gonna be a lot more simple. It's a non-slide coach. Some lights on in here real quick. And I'll tell you who uh, would be the right person for this. So um, definitely much smaller, but hey, for someone that's gonna be going a lot of miles down the road and they don't need as much space, this could also fit quite a few people. So not as comfortable but hey if you want to have kind of a party or like a tailgating rig i think this would work let me get some lights back here on the back of this coach this is set up for really a unique purpose it's got this kind of poker table kind of a lounge area this could be converted into a bedroom but if you wanted something like more of a party rig this would be a good rig for you these are like the tour buses these are set up to run. If you were just gonna go kind of plop down somewhere for like six months, I wouldn't necessarily recommend this coach because you can get something with slide outs. It's gonna be a lot more comfortable where this is more designed to kind of be going down the road, non-slides, a little more industrial style, definitely not as comfortable. And then also one other thing to keep in you know mind, this is an XL2, well, you've still got pretty good headroom in this. Definitely a really good looking uh, country coach there, but a Monaco Dynasty here. Now, if you're a little more budget conscious, this is not a bad coach either here. This one is a really cool coach. Non-slide 99 country coach concept. I'm excited about this one. But, you know, so this Monaco Dynasty here, I believe they have it listed for just under 200 grand, still a tag axle rig quad slide lot of space this is going to be around the same amount of money as that uh prevo over there uh but it's going to have a lot more room so if you're not going a lot of miles a, a year this monaco is a great coach if you're going to be really running it hard that prevo country coach may be good for you now this coach right here this coach is going to be for um, let's say that you're the guy that really wants to be known for having all the toys and all the coolest stuff. Get yourself a marathon coach with a matching stacker trailer with this whole outdoor kitchen set up with the fondue station. Definitely not a bad way to go. Or 2011 Newell coach over here, quad slide. This one's bunk model so totally different floor plan double slide bunk model maybe you're planning on going down the road quite a bit and traveling with your family so right here country coach veranda this is a cool coach so this is maybe you're going to be somewhere where you want to put this uh patio this outdoor patio down here not a bad play at all there's a beaver marquee a lot of coach for the money of that vintage. You've got a leisure travel van Unity, a little Class C on a Sprinter chassis. Not a bad play either. Hopefully today's video will help some of you determine which is the best RV for you. I greatly appreciate all of you liking these videos and subscribing to the channel. Again, a huge thanks to folks at Premium Coach Group here for letting me take you guys on a tour of all these coaches. Greatly appreciate all of you and I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again.